Most people actually don't know the difference between a data analyst and a data scientist. In today's video, I'm gonna give you four key differences between the two and how you can know which one is right for you. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is McKay, if you're new around here. And on the channel, we talk about different things to do with data analytics, data science, and how we can improve our skills and learn the different technologies behind everything. But when I was first presented with the idea of becoming a data scientist, I honestly had no idea, and I'm pretty sure this is will resonate with a lot of other people. I had no idea the difference between the two, like a data scientist, are they going out and doing hypothesis testing? Are they going out and putting like chemicals and tubes and stuff? I don't know. I really had no idea the difference between a data scientist and a data analyst. And hopefully this video for you, whether you're considering a career change or you're a student, like I was in that same position where I had no idea. I didn't know the different requirements, what the difference between the job descriptions were and what they'd actually be doing on the job. Hopefully this video will help you understand the differences between the two and which one really is right for you. So we're gonna be talking about four key differences between data scientists and data analysts. First, we'll talk about responsibilities on the job. Second, we'll talk about education. Third, we'll talk about technical skills, and fourth, we will talk about the differences in salary. I like to look at somebody who is a data analyst and kind of a data analyst job as somebody who is helping their company solve current issues in the moment. A data analyst will be in charge of creating things such as dashboards, reports, and using the already available data to be able to help their company solve these problems right away. And usually the data that they're going to be using is in a clean format. So they're gonna be accessing data from databases using SQL, as well as getting data from the clients that they're working with or from their company, working with others to be able to get that data, incorporating the data into their analysis and dashboards, reports, whatever they're creating. And then the tools that they're actually gonna use is gonna vary quite differently between companies and industries. Most of the time they're gonna be using though a data visualization tool such as Tableau or Power BI. And then as well, they're gonna be using a lot of SQL to extract data from the database. And then as well, they might be using something like Python or R to help them analyze and do a bit more of analysis than they could do in like Tableau. Data scientists are a little bit more different as they are more geared toward building and developing machine learning models and analytical solutions rather than just looking at data. What they're gonna be doing is a lot of data cleaning. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. Most data scientists end up spending probably more than half of their time doing data cleansing and finding ways to automate this data cleansing. And that's a big part of the job. A lot of the real world data isn't as clean as the data sets that you're given in a homework assignment or like if you're doing an online course, a lot of the data is actually in a very unstructured format. So data scientists are in charge of taking that data, putting it into a structured format, maybe sometimes putting it into the database and allowing others to access that data. As well, data scientists will use this data and everything that they've learned and apply it to models, try and fit the data to the models, analyze the trends, look at different solutions and different stories the data is telling them, and as well, use this data to better improve their model. Second on the list of items between a data analyst and a data scientist is the difference in education. Usually a data analyst is somebody who's going to have a bachelor's degree and sometimes a master's degree. These degrees vary, but usually are in the form of statistics, math, economics, finance, or information systems. A master's degree usually isn't required for this, but some jobs and some companies may say that is preferred. For a data scientist, the requirements are actually usually a little bit higher, as most companies usually require a master's degree in something such as computer science, math, statistics, economics, information systems, data analytics, data science, machine learning, and sometimes a PhD is even required or preferred as well. If you're not really wanting to go to college or if you're not wanting to receive a higher education to become a data scientist, there's a lot of different boot camps or online courses that you can try out, which maybe some companies might not require you to have a degree. So you can try a boot camp or an online course to learn the skills required, but just know that 
not having a degree for, in especially a bachelor's degree, might limit your ability to get interviews and or job offers. So third up on our list, let's talk about the required technical skills and kind of the skills that a data analyst and a data scientist are going to need. So there's a couple of similarities. They're both probably gonna be using SQL, Python or R, and then a data visualization tool such as Tableau or Power BI. But the difference is in what they're doing with these tools. So since a data analyst is gonna be creating dashboards, reports, looking at trends, they're gonna be more focused on the current analysis of data. So in Python, for example, they'll most likely be using pandas, numpy, matplotlib to kind of do some analysis as well as be able to create these dashboards and plots. Data analysts as well are probably gonna be doing more work in tools such as Excel or SAS and Stata to do quick analysis and just a couple of quick research that they can throw into a broader report or dashboard. Data scientists on the other hand are actually gonna be using these tools a little bit differently as they are going to be creating models and analytical statistical models to be able to analyze clean data and use the methods and models to find trends in the data. So they'll be using libraries in Python such as scikit-learn, pandas, numpy, tensorflow. They'll also need to have a good grip and understanding of natural language processing. They'll be using SQL, like I said, but this could be doing things with data warehousing and cleaning data. And they'll also be using Jupyter Notebooks as well as it's one of the best ways to do data science work and create models. So lastly and fourth on our list, let's talk about the difference in salary. So there's a little bit of a difference, mainly due to the fact of what the job is doing and as well the amount of education that is required. A salary as well can depend a lot on the experience and the skills and the past projects that somebody has worked on as well as the negotiation skills that that certain person has. So according to Zipia.com, an entry level data analyst will be making around $56,000, while an intermediate level analyst will be making around $50,000, and an expert or a senior level analyst will make anywhere between 86 to $100,000 in the United States. For a data scientist, according to the University of Wisconsin, the median salary for a data scientist is $95,000 for an entry level, and then 135,000 for intermediate, and then over 160,000 for an expert level and a senior level data scientist. It's actually really important to note that these salaries can really depend on the experience as well. They can fluctuate a lot depending on location, industry, as well as the company that you're working for. For example, a data scientist at Google is gonna be making a lot more than a data scientist that works for your local school district. But those are the four key differences between a data analyst and a data scientist. Hopefully by now you understand the key differences and the differences between responsibilities, education, the technical skills, and the salary. Hopefully this video helped explain the differences between the four and as well which one is right for you. Whether you're beginning a career change or wanna know what you should be studying in school. But that's it for this one, guys. If you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button as well. Check out this playlist below. It has a couple of machine learning topics that you can look at and data science topics as well. It's some really good videos to follow up on this one. But that's it for this one, everybody. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.